Good evening. Is enough being done to protect vulnerable people when they're discharged from hospital? It's more than a year since Anne Tomlin from Long Whittenham found her husband wandering around their driveway in the dark. The 86-year-old who had dementia had been sent home from hospital in a taxi. An investigation suggests the hospital did nothing wrong, but Anne disagrees. Angela Walker reports. This is where Anne Tomlin found her 86-year-old husband, Cyril, wandering in the dark. He was partially sighted and had dementia. He'd been dropped off here after being put in a taxi at the John Radcliffe Hospital. Now, just over a year later, and the health ombudsman says they'll take no further action against the hospital trust. If you leave a person who's almost blind, has dementia, and you leave them outside at night in just a nightshirt, slippers, clutching some tablets that they should have been given during the day, that isn't care. There's no dispute over the fact that Mr Tomlin was put into a taxi on his own and dropped off on his own. He died 16 days later from pneumonia. The Health Service Ombudsman looked into Cyril's case and wrote to Anne saying they'd found no evidence of maladministration. What do you think is causing this difference between your experience and what they're saying has happened? Oh, I think it's a cover-up. They're obviously short-staffed at times and when this happened, they were very short-staffed. They were also short of beds. In the inquiry uh, held at the hospital to begin with, they're saying, oh, there was plenty of staff and plenty of beds. By the time we got to the end of the inquiry, they were saying, oh, well, we are short-staffed and we are short of beds. The Alzheimer's Society says what happened to Cyril Tomlin is not an isolated incident. Alzheimer's Society often hears of situations like Cyril's. Uh, we know that lots of people are discharged in the middle of the night or who are sent home partly because of the level of pressure on the hospital and care system to make sure that people are, are discharged quickly, um, but also because there isn't the kind of recognition of the different things that people with dementia need. In a statement, the Trust told us that patient safety is their number one priority and they said patients are only discharged to go home once they've been clinically assessed as fit. Furthermore, they say they only use carefully vetted taxi services. Mrs Tomlin, though, says she's not satisfied and she's planning to appeal against the Ombudsman's decision. Angela Walker, BBC South Today.